Oh, it's goddamn time. I don't like Gojo, and if, if that's true, I hate that power set. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Seda, this is Justin, and we are back with episode... What episode are we on? Episode 7. I don't remember the name. Assault? Was it Assault? Yes. In my head, it's either Assault or The Aftermath. I'm pretty sure it's The Assault. It was Assault. Okay. That fits what we saw on the last time on, so... Yep. Not the last time on. What we saw... Last time on. I'm adding the in front of everything. Sorry, I'm adding the in front of the everything. The the everything? Well, how about you go ahead and remind us of what happened last time? Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the we, last time. We got to see the potential forming of a pact between Yuji and Sukuma. Or S Sukuna. Not confirmed because they didn't show it and they set it up in such a way that either way is possible. Then it was just a fair amount of quote-unquote training for an upcoming meet of sorts between two schools. Some of it was physically active. Some of it was uh, controlling your energy, avoiding being punched in the face by a little uh, stuffed animal. You know? I mean, it's it is your stuff. favorite power. It is. So we didn't really get your guy, but we got the power of your guy? Yeah. I'm here for it. Uh, like, you... that was really it. It was uh, just like a, a, a come down episode, because the only other major fact was introducing some curses that seemed quite powerful. They were saying, you did mention the uh, spontaneous combustion thing, right? Well, see, yeah. I wanted to bring it up at a time that was spontaneous, you know? Yeah, I can't really do anything with combustion. You left me with that word. Um, You do remember the thing that they mentioned, the thing that I very specifically said, I didn't remember this before. This is important. Pay attention. Oh, the, the he didn't order food. At least that's what the implication was to me. Uh, No, they were literally talking about a thing. Oh, the prison box? Yes. Yep. Yep. I forgot that they had that entire conversation because I was more focused on... Because, you know, this is actually... I think the thing that I talked about when I watched this the first time was that was also the first time we saw curses that talked. Got it. Right? I mean, it was. Also, who the hell is this guy with a stitch across his head? Because it's also the first time we've seen anybody working with curses. Yeah. And I think my dumbass back then didn't also pick up on the not everybody can't see curses thing. So I was kind of infatuated with the fact that this dude's sitting by himself. You know, because he orders one drink and nobody else can see these other guys. So do we think that the one wait the one waiter picked up on the energy? Oh we saw, saw it. We saw his point of view. Okay, yeah. so that was his point of view. Yeah, no, he walks away. Well, because we've got our, I don't know what we would call it, God view? We've got our our point of view, which is see everything exactly as it is. So the only yep. other reason to show them as, like, blurry masses or anything is to give us his perspective, because otherwise, why would you do it? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so he runs. Um, I think... Didn't our um, guy who did the dome two episodes back say he has to wear, like, glasses to be able to see things? Maybe? If he, if so, I didn't pick up on it. I think he said that, because I think that's also our first cue of people having objects. Because we also covered that last episode with that girl. Like, he says, how many weapons do you carry around on you? Um, the first cue of cursed objects was when the uh, butchers... Sort of knife was given to Yuji. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, forgot about that. Because that didn't last very long. He's not carrying it around now, is he? No, no, no. It, it got real messed up. Uh, I feel like there's something... Oh, sorry. The other thing I wanted to just, uh, bring up, not to sketch, just to bring up, was, as you said, we don't know how that, uh, that pact went. So there's just a, a little hanging thread 
of at some point, if it did happen, the agreement will come to fruition, right? Do you remember what he agreed, uh, the pact was for? Uh, yes. Uh, one minute of time with the word yet. Yeah, and that he wouldn't hurt or injure anybody. Correct. Well, assuming that that follow-up statue still exists as a part of the pact, considering that mm -hmm. Yuji then added a fight me to the death or else to it as well. So yeah, that's hanging out there. So the only way I think we'll ever really know if the pact came through is if Sukuna, Sa Sukuna just shows up at some point for no reason. Exactly. Because we know the only other way that he can show up is if Yuji lets him out himself. Yes, which will probably play it slightly differently based off the fact that there is there is a pact now. Maybe. Again, I keep referring it back to, to Naruto. Like I said, I really like that the show brought up all of its pre uh, predecessors. I can't remember all of them. I think I named half of them, and one of them was uh, Rasengan, which is literally, there's a whole arc of Naruto where he has to learn how to channel power into his palm, which is literally the electricity part of uh, Gojo's example, and then he has to learn how to rotate the energy in his palm, which is the appliance part of the example here. Yep. Uh, I don't think any of the other examples really were so uh, on the nose about the same example they're doing with Curse Energy. Because Spirit mm -hmm. Gun from Yu Yu Hakusho was literally just put all your power into your finger, point and shoot. <laughs> There's no big thing behind that. No, I think that was a very, very good explanation. I, th I think it works better for everybody that's seen all of those other shows. It is... You don't even need to have seen them to understand that, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause... I just mean that's a good reference. That they built in yes. the reference to all the other things. Same thing One Piece does sometimes. One Piece One Piece made jokes about Naruto as well by having a whole arc full of ninjas where they keep referencing what ninjas should be by calling them the Naruto stuff. Shouldn't ninjas do this? <laughs> Shouldn't ninjas do that? That's fun. But yeah, uh... So if uh, Sukuna just shows up unannounced, because he can whenever he wants uh, for one minute, if the pact is real. But he can't hurt anybody, which means he has to have a plan. Like, what does Sukuna... I'm not even getting the name right anywhere. Sukuna... That's not right. I'm just going to say Sakuna. It's the thing I do. Sakuna... <laughs> um has to have a plan, right? Because what else can you do in one minute without hurting anybody? Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's got to be... It could be maybe trying to understand the world in its current state. I think he's... If the implication is that his in his domain is inside Yuji, it feels like he he's getting that already. Because every mm. time Yuji releases him, he's kind of like got a running commentary about everything that's happening. I think that's just him talking trash. I don't. I, th I, I, th I. That's my prediction, but I don't have any basis for it. I mean, also, how much of the world can you figure out in one minute? Because you know, more think... than you can figure out, figure out in less time. Well, I mean, I feel like if that was what he wanted, he could have been like, "Hey, give me access to your eyeballs." You know, something, something that would give him more than that. I feel like this but might be a 5D that chess would thing. But that, but that would require... That would require him wanting to know what Yuji would be interested in. Not what he is interested in. Yeah, I think I'm running off the Naruto example with the nine-tailed fox that's within Naruto. Every time Naruto has to go within himself to try and get, like, power from the fox or something like that. The fox is always shitting on Naruto because he knows everything Naruto's going through because it's, he's in his body. And uh, Sakuna is just kind of doing the same thing, it feels like. However, Possible. I mean, we don't have any evidence. I, like I said, if he's just shit-talking, he's just shit-talking. But in my mind, it feels like a 5D chess move that 
he knows something is going to happen, and he thinks, I just need a minute. I'll only need a minute when that happens. So I think if anybody in that situation is playing 5D chess, it's Yuji, because that's the unexpected move. Yes, yes, the guy who wanted to get a fight to the death with Sakuna for mm -hmm. control of his body and instantly had his head cut off is the genius pulling 5D chess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think it's genius. I think it, I think it's dumb luck. But I think that's what's going to come out as the 5D chess. I don't know that a man who swallows fingers has dumb luck on his side. Hey, no true words have been said. Anyway, you have any other final thoughts before we get into this? I do not. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get in. But before we get started, make sure that you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, not censored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month, but hey, no pressure. There's zero pressure in order to do that. It's just a little bit of extra support, and it would be greatly appreciated. I feel like you're just getting chipped every time. Last, e last episode, we had the, the principal's puppet thing with the Yuji thing, but no principal. Now we find out that he was on his way to meet the principal. So we don't get that. Hey, it's all good. Once we get there, no, we're not, though. It. We're leaving. See? I'm just saying, you picked a favorite character. And every time he's not here, we're on our way, or he was around here somewhere. When it happens, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, bye bye, Gojo. Mm, yeah, no. He's built up too much for that. Is he? By the way, huge clue to what his power set is. The visual, I mean. Got it. See, he's pa stronger than current Sakuna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I found it boring that Griffin shows uh, Gojo as his main, uh, his favorite character. Chris Griffin was always choosing the main character. So don't get me wrong, I get Gojo, the I get the appeal, and I get why Gojo's and the story. However, her character now. I do have a habit of choosing the strongest character when I can, only because I like strength. Anyone who's ever seen me play tabletop games knows that. But, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's so, boring if it's, like, too much. Yeah, so, for it's... tabletop stuff, I have one consistent habit. Actually, no, let's put it, no, I'll put it at two. One, I have zero issues giving myself one horribly low at stat. Like, if given the choice, I would rather have one thing I'm god awful at. I mean, to be fair, if you're a good min maxer, you have four bad stats. Oh, I, I, I don't, I don't min max. I don't think about that oh, shit. Oh no, that's what I do. I'm bad However, at eight. I'm bad at four things. I'm good at two. The, the one thing that I, cla I always have way too high is perception. I don't know. Including passive. 
I think that's a debate to have post episode. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it is debate worthy. See if you can guess what his uh, power set is. Uh, barriers. I'm gonna call it power set for now. Ah, eh, you're close, but you're not right. Uh, so I think, I can't remember the two things he said, but I think it's exactly what he told Yuji. Are the, like, the two simple things everyone do. Well, if everyone can do it, it's not a power set. That's the basis of power, then. I think, I think that's what makes him as powerful as he is. I think he is the best at that thing. I also just realized I shouldn't be denying or confirming anything. <laughs> yes, that's what he spoilers too. I just want to hear if you guessed right. Again. You're walking away. I mean, I think it's pretty major that Gojo says that this guy could take on Sukuna. When we just saw Sakuda kick everyone's ass. Mm -hmm. Including another special grade. Oh, it's goddamn time. I don't like Gojo, and if, if that's true, I hate that power set. Man, you're so close. That's what I mean. That's what I mean with time. He controls the, how other people interact with time. So close. No, he's not fast. He made you slow. If memory serves, you're still wrong. I'm not sure if you're so wrong, but you're very close. But you gotta remember, this yeah, is the man. most complicated power system in anime at the time, anyway. Homie is getting Molly Walk. Because the only other thing that makes sense in my head based off infinity is probability. You can try to take on Gojo. Would not recommend. More domain stuff.
Okay, nice Another little flashback. Lord. Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'll always be with you, Mr. Frodo. That was a bad impression. Hey, to nomi kumi ga hayai. Shippatsu Yuji. Gojo sensei. Hanashi kakete mo mondai nashi. Yuji wo? Hayame ni shitsuryoku agete. さっさと次の段階進めそうだね。出かけるよ、ユージ。え考え授業。呪術戦の頂点。みんなバッドユージが絶滅する気ないのか。ごじょうさとるをせっかく Kind of like the guys who turn invisible and run. I think you're forgetting. You can be super creative with a lot of things, depending on how you use them. True. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some point they're going to do say what it's all about. And even if we get it wrong, I know that I have a future commenter who spells all this stuff out too. I think the reason why they're establishing Gojo as being so strong is we're eventually going to get the actual villain. Or like the first big problem that Gojo cared of. I would kind of have gone the other way. If I was going to guess, I would uh, set up that we're safe under Gojo, and then Gojo would die. And then we'd be stuck with all the problems that we relied on Gojo to deal with. Which I guess is just a... My thing is a... Both of our things are the same thing, just at different timescales. Different timescales and different... Different setup. Well, I mean, my thing is if your bad guy showed up earlier, and we relied on Gojo to take care of them, your thing is if the bad guy shows up after. Yeah, yeah, closer. Like, my thing is if also, Gojo died because of... Also describing the whole domain thing. Yeah. yeah. I have a, I have a, a perfect way to understand domains, and this is gonna sound nerdy. Pretty much impossible. And it's a game that I know that you're aware of. Legend of the Dragoon. At one point, you can do a special transformation, change the arena around you, you do more damage, and your one set of attacks all hit. 
I remember like nothing about the game other than all the time that I spent to, to beat it. This is like my first third, third PlayStation game. Uh, see what's under the blindfold. He didn't say a time thing. Yeah, Gojo's off. There's no way Gojo's anywhere near my favorite character without giving him this type of power. Everything auto hits in the domain, they just covered that. Yep. Are you sure? Because he's literally describing what you just said you put all your points into in an RPG. <laughs> Gojo is your guy to the infinite. That's why I don't like it. To you. Exactly. Don't, don't, don't put a mirror in front of me and expect me to pick that character. I was literally just saying, I don't put mirrors in my house. <laughs> さて、誰に言われてここに来た？これが呪術最強生き物としての格が違う。ああ、どうする？助ける？私は光線関係者に顔を見られるわけにはいかないから。Oh, another... That implies he goes to one of the sister schools. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's another clue about this person. I imagine he might be the principal of one of the, the sister schools. And the spirit just said we're true humans anyway. <笑>何か Spirit? Spirit here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your favorite spell. Jujutsu Dayona. Saying a song. ガキだ。へえ、逃げられた。気配を消すのがうまいな。ファン火山が頭よりもよっぽど不気味だ。どうも<笑><笑> Yeah, he's not wrong. 
何が何だか分かんなかったんだけどマジかこの人目標を設定したらあとはひたすら駆け上がるだけちょっと予定を早めてこれから一月映画見て僕と戦ってを繰り返す Gojo、yeah. could never be my favorite he's too much like me straight up he's too much like me 生きてるかなその後は実践重めの任務をいくつかこなしてもらう So, the thing is, I knew that my guy was my favorite before I ever met him, and then I found out that he's a what I find to be a disappointing power set, but he's still my favorite regardless. Hey, we got your guy. Hell yeah. What the fuck, man? Why isn't he here? <laughs> Technically, we saw he didn't even need to ride in a car since he went and got Yuji in 10 seconds. Yeah. Zuyven to Odayaka da ne? Zogo wa doushita? Keto. ヒンシ花見が助けに入ったから多分大丈夫じゃないかな無責任だな君が解きつけたんだろうとんでもない私は止めたんだよ。マイセイヒウズアナチュラリーハットヘッド。花見無事だよ。何より。I And they're not related or together or anything. これで分かったと思うけど、ゴジョサトルは叱るべき時、叱るべき場所、こちらのアドバンテージを確立した上で封印に臨む。結婚は10月31日渋谷。詳細は追って連絡するよ。いいね。Realize how much shit they said in the show that I just fucking missed. I'm hearing it now for the first time. Fair enough. <laughs> Is that guess, a human curse? I guess I can very much agree with all the commenters who said we focused on the wrong stuff the first time through. <laughs> I think we were focusing on what was that guy about? How did they cut off his head and he's still alive? What's with this room in the middle of the, an island? And yet, they've been talking all these super important plot points the entire time that we paid no attention to the first time around. So that things just seem to have happened haphazardly. And it's like, no, they've been talking about it since episode 5. They foreshadowed it. Yeah. I'll be fair, I probably would not have remembered. Uh, you asked if that guy was a human curse. I'd point out that he seemed to have stitching across his face, and the other guy had a, a thing across his forehead, so who the hell knows. They've got similar motifs, it looks like. Yes, but if cur So if sorcerers have their own natural thing and curses are a separate thing, would... What type of problem would happen if you blended the two? Uh, That's what I'm thinking. Do you want any bones in your drink, I guess? Have you brought a puree them? Not blend them? See, like I said, similar thing. Stitching and stitching. Uh, it's also giving very much like Frankenstein vibes. I guess the thing to do would be wait to see if the other guy is around humans and if humans see him. Mm. That seems to be the only determining fact.
Start of the Terminarch. That's right. My character shows up in the episode Boredom. So. <laughs> It can't be that exciting, then. Well, I mean, to be fair, we'll you're not going to find out for a week, so, I mean... True. Hey, look at how I felt when me and Griff were re uh, reacting to these one episode a week. <laughs> so it took forever for me to see my guy. Yeah, I can imagine. Like I said, I'm not going to lock you in on who your person is until the end of the season, at the least. I know you like the principal now, but you... Got a bunch of characters to meet, so maybe mm -hmm. at least till I we get to the tournament. Not. Yeah, maybe at least till we get to the tournament, right? Well, the tournament has to be the majority of the characters, right? Because that's all everybody from school, every school, right? You would think so, but yeah. Well, I mean, it's how they introduced it. So, the problem with putting all your points into perception is the same problem of putting all of your um, ability into longer range attacks. The GM tends to not uh, give you the information about a thing that's approaching until it's within a certain radius of you doing so. It's true. So if you have a 400 yard or 400 meter or whatever, I can't remember what these systems use anymore these days, a 400 space attack, the long and short of it is you're probably still going to be attacking things within like 60 yards. So... In that instance, what you, the appropriate move to do is to talk to the GM and be like, hey, this is where my points are. I'm not saying it's done out of malice. What does that mean to you? Right. Oh, I, I know. I mean, oh, it, no. it could be so forgetfulness. It, in mind. it could be forgetfulness or you didn't plan for a yep. combat encounter and you needed something to fill time for the day. So they just kind of showed up and oh, shit, I forgot my guy here can see for that far, you know? It's, it's, also, it's the default state also of being, be, it's being the player, the person who, who like, walks around with a 25 passive perception, I fully expect moments of, oh, shit, this person sees everything. And, like, well, you would have seen this. Like, I, I understand that people aren't perfect. But I, I even, so, do I want to give this away? Not an RPG channel anymore, so I mean, who are you going to tell it to, right? I will, because it's an absolutely bananas idea, idea for, for an area. It's possible to have Eldritch Blast get disgusting range. I mean, that's like, the basis of the example I was giving about. But what you can do is you can set up a whole area of, like, a tower within... X amount of feet, X amount of feet. Yeah, an and have it be like, like a maze sort of thing, but have the the uh, the the tension comes with every round you're being fired at, because one guy, there's one dude in a tower that can see every position in the maze because of the because yeah. of their perception. Was that an Eldritch Panopticon? Yeah, a Panopticon. I guess it, I'm assuming you know, but I guess the audience would be the idea of a uh, like a prison. By which the guards are positioned in the middle in a uh, building that they can see everything all from one position. So what I thought you were gonna say was like a, uh, a caldera with a um, a tower in the middle, so that I think you were describing a maze, but uh, so that you could have one person who has basically a sphere that covers the entire uh, caldera. So even if you took it's to the exactly air, you'd be getting shot at. One million percent. So it's the idea, how do you get to the center while well, boom, 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 constantly? Uh, well, if owls are to be believed, 24 licks? <laughs> Fair I like that. But yeah, uh, no, that episode was fun. It showed off. God. I get why people would like Gojo. However, don't fuck off. Get that mirror out of my face. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want the mirror in front of me. I think the most important part of this episode, beyond showing what Gojo's thing is, even though you got it wrong, um, was the domain stuff. Now, granted, the domain stuff? 
Grant. Also, the learning fast. The what now? When he went to go get Yuji. And they were watching The Hobbit. His first thing was he learns fast. Yeah, well, I mean, he went through a lot of movies. That table is to be believed. Plus, we don't know how true, far... Even, so that's even how crazy. How far into The Hobbit was he, let alone that? I don't think any, he learned it in the time of The Hobbit. Would still be quite a time for me. Yes, but if Gojo is saying you learn fast, that has to mean something. I guess also I'm kind of writing it off in the realm of every protagonist learns fast. It's true, yeah. Um, and I mean, granted, when it comes to the domain thing, that we kind of already got kind of introduced to it with the Sukuna thing of we're in my domain, which I don't didn't really remember that one either. But him describing how domains work of, you know, it's the basic your specialty. Things always hit. Um. The only way to really defeat one 100% is to have a better domain and put your domain in their domain to break it. Which opens up the question, what if there is equal domains? Half and half? Which makes for a very interesting battlefield. I mean, although I don't know. If your domain is already there, would you be able to create a domain in somebody else's who's as strong as you? Do I would you, think so. Do you get weaker for having created a domain to the point that somebody who's as strong as you oh, yeah. who would then have more to exert because they didn't exert to create said domain? For argument's sake, if you create your domain, you get a stat buff in said domain, which means if you would have gotten weaker, you would could say you were pulled back to neutral. Well, you're doing a yeah, you're doing a sum zero thing, and I don't know that it is a sum zero thing, considering that the integral part of the episode before that was Yuji having to exert power into something, which indicates that unless curse power is an infinite resource, he is releasing power from himself and putting it somewhere else. Yeah. In which case, he is get, getting weaker. That is, I think that's a conversation that's put on hold until we have more information, or until the I have more information. The only other facet I could add to it was the fact that he used electricity as an example for everything else before. And if you were to continue the electricity metaphor, electricity is not infinite. It has to be generated. True. Uh, I don't know. Um... Yeah, what was the name? Jogo? Was it Jogo with the Volcano Guy? Jogo. No, with the Volcano Guy, yes. Because I think Jogo was the one that looks like Frankenstein's monster. Oh, no. You're wrong there. Uh, they said those people's names and when they were referring to them and the um, Juju Stroll? Yep. The end part. Uh, that guy's name is Mahito. Oh, you're right, you're right. Uh, only so because he's like, be Mahito over creepy... here, and then he goes, kicks would, the guy's head. Would, would Jogo be the creepy flower guy? That's what I'm thinking. I think Jogo is the, the volcano guy, isn't it? I don't think so. I, I'm not remembering now, but I'm I'm thinking it is. But I'm not, like, I'm, I'm like in the 50% range, because those guys, I only really remember Mahito. And that's because he's got the name of a drink. So. Fair enough. Uh, anyway, Volcano Guy Volcano is, guy. uh, what? We know, eight to nine fingers strong. He yes. is stronger than Sakuna is now. Thought he could take Gojo, who they've already covered the plan is subdue Gojo, get Yuji slash Sakuna on, your, on their side. Yes. Um, they've covered a date, if you remember the date. However, uh, yes, October 31st. However, they haven't told us what day it is, so, I mean, go and with that. Shibuya. Yeah. And they, I mean, they haven't told us what day it is, let alone how much time has been passing, so. Um, we don't. That's Halloween. No, 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 I mean, what day it is now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Got you it. know, like, uh, when we watch Fate, there's, like, a countdown timer and everything like that. We don't know what the day mm -hmm. is to even try and guess. How many days have been passed? Like I think they said they were gonna train for 
Was it a month and a half, or was it a week and a half? No, two weeks. I would say. Two weeks or uh, a week and a half. So yeah, we know that's how much training time they're gonna do. We know there's a date in the head, a date in the future. We don't know anything else time related. We do not. Uh, and there's a prison cube thing. I forget what it was called. Um, pres- it wasn't prison cube. It was a cube. Prison dimension. Well, I mean, when they showed it on the screen, it was a cube, but I think it was prison dimension. It was a prison thing. Whatever. Uh, that it was an item. There was an item that uh they had related to it. I don't know if they said yes. they had to get it or they had it or whatever. Um, so they have it. They just want to put him in it. Right. Or at least that was the implication. And I think that's their whole plan at the moment, unless I'm forgetting something. That is correct. So I'm not actually remembering what the plan is. They want to do X, but to do X, they have... Like, why are they subduing Gojo and trying to get Yuji Sukuna on their side? What's the goal post that? Well, wasn't... Wasn't Sukuno or Sukuna? Sukuna. Sukuno. S-U-K-U-N-U, I believe. Weren't they described as the King of Demons? Or the King of Curses? Uh, I think they were just described as the most powerful curse sorcerer. There was something in the description that put them on on some sort of ruling pedestal. Well, I, I don't remember exactly what it was. They were supposed to have been from a long time ago. And that's why they've got the, all these mummified fingers. And they were just the strongest. Yes, but but no, no, there was something specifically said that put them in like... Not at a strength pinnacle, but a position pinnacle. I'm pretty sure it was a strength pinnacle. I'm 95% sure. I mean, sure. that's why we're using all their fingers. Not all the. That's why we're using their fingers as like a measure of strength. You know, so I like in Dragon Ball Z, power levels. Our power levels here are fingers. So it, it ties into both, if, and both can be true. Because if they are the measure of strength, they are prob- they might be the original curse. See, this is why the re-reaction on my end works so well, because I have a fucking starfish's memory. I do. Mm-hmm. And if you might remember, that's not even the saying. I just got that wrong. It's a like goldfish's memory. <laughs> yeah. So, I forgot. And it in this hypothetical setup, if there, if that, if uh, if Ryuman was the original curse or the original curse sorcerer, and then it started all this, well, he can't be both. He can't be the original curse and the original curse sorcerer. Uh, original curse or the original curse sorcerer. Oh, no, one just, of the two. Yeah, no, I'm just throwing out there that he can't be yeah, both. I know. Well, I guess technically, if you're creative enough as a writer, he could be both. I just don't see it happening. I don't think it makes sense to have both happening. I think it makes sense that he made a pact with the original curse. Hence being the reason why it's the way it is. However, however, he made a pact... Can't you only make packs with curses? So if he made, so yes, it is possible that. Or can you make a pack with anything? Made a pact curse together, then shit went down. Fingers, bam! He became a curse, absorbing the curse that happened there became a curse. I mean, now he made a curse with the. Uh... UG. Yeah. Imply uh, again, I don't know if only curses can make pacts. If cur- <clears throat> if cursed sorcerers can make pacts with each other, then that's a different thing. Well, if sort I don't I if you'd have to you'd have to take it the curse part then. Because you know if curses can make pacts with people, that's one thing. If any type of sorcerer can also establish a pact that wouldn't be limited to just a cursed sorcerer. Oh, 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This feels like what I heard, uh, God, it must have been 15 years ago, what uh, playing in a Warhammer 40k tournament is like, which is, which is to say half of the shenanigans are, the rules are so much of just getting people on rules that they don't know or don't remember. Yeah. Because there's so much of it, you can't re be, you can't remember everything. So, you know, you pull out those niche rules, which I appreciate. As anybody out there who's ever played Starfleet Battles, with the rule book, which is like 300 pages, which is like, you know, movement rules A, subsection 2, impulse, sub subsection, th you know, A-2-2.346, which is mo imp using impulse drive while moving through a Tholian web in an asteroid belt while towing mines. Yeah, sub, 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 sub sections of rules. I'm all about it. The rules lawyer game of warfare. But if it's like that, and it's like we're only being introduced to one part of the rule, and there's like a hundred subsections we haven't introduced yet, like this is how a pact works. I'm doing it with you now, as a curse sorcerer to another curse sorcerer. This isn't how it normally works, but I'm doing it right now as an example. Mm -hmm. Who's to know? Who's to know? Again. This was introduced to me way back when as the most complicated power system in anime. I haven't heard any other anime make that claim. And that's, that does uh, that does fit into that idea, then. I mean, we're still like learning the power system every episode. They say something that's new. Yes, they do. All right. Well, anything else that you would like to add? There is not. All right, well, that is us for today, then. I have been Theta. This has been Justin. We have been Stone-Faced Reactions, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stone-Faced Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?